Hi everyone, today OBS 26, the new edition. We're going to install it, we're going to set it up, some basic windows, camera, and such here on Scott Parker's Tech Tips. Subscribe. So here we go to obsproject.org and I'm going to download the Windows version because I'm working on a Windows machine today. And it's going to take a moment to download. I've sped this up so that we, we're not waiting a whole lot. We're going to click on the download link of the actually downloaded file, the installation file. And here we're going to click on install and then next a few times. We're going to let it uh, install it at the default location that it wishes to use. And when it's done, we're going to choose launch. And once we launch it, we're going to set up our first set of windows. So we've installed uh, OBS, and now we're going to add a camera, because obviously we need a camera. So I go down here and I do video capture device. I'm going to type in C910 for my webcam. And there it is. And you can see my green screen behind me. Okay. Um, so let's uh, create, let's add a filter to this to filter out the green screen. Actually, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to add a background. So let's add an image. background image, find an image, which is this one, okay, so there's my image, it's really big, so I need to adjust that, okay, so I'm going to zoom in, make this the size of my window that I'd like it, here we go, I'm going to grab my camera and move it up a slot, now there's two ways of doing this. You can move it that way or you can use these up and down arrows. Now it lets you drag them up and down. So there's that image. Let's move this over here so I can work on the green screen effect. So I'm going to click on that camera. I'm going to click on filters. I'm going to add a filter. Chroma key. Let's leave it called chroma key. And look at that. It's almost... Um, almost perfect there. So let's make a little adjustment to the smoothness. Uh, see how it makes my hair fuzzy? With the smell, spill. You can play with these and adjust uh, the fuzziness of the hair and that sort of thing. Close that. Terrific. Now let's add my microphone. I have a microphone sitting here and right now we're hearing it through the screen recording software. So I'm going to press on plus and grab an audio input capture device. And this is my EV20. So I'll name it EV20. And here, even though it's my EV20, I'm using a blue icicle adapter to get the audio into a USB. So I have to pick that one. And as I talk, you can see the little lines here moving up and down. So now I have the audio registered here. The C910 has a microphone in it, but it's not, uh, not great. Um, and it's so far away from me, it doesn't hear me all that well. And here's a lot of room noise. So I'm going to change the settings for here. And um, I'm going to, well, I'm going to change the, turn off the volume. And then I'm going to lock the volume. And... I don't need to see it, so I'm going to hide it. So now I have video, and I have audio, and I have a background. And this is all under a scene, and I've named this Starter Scene. Um, and we can create a new scene. Let's do a, let's, I could do a new blank scene. Yeah, I'll just leave it scene two, but now it's completely blank. So what I like to do quite often is I right click on the scene, and I click on Duplicate, Starter Scene 2, there we go. And now, so let's take this down here, uh, so I'll move it over here. Um, so what happens is I can go back and forth between the two scenes. Let me get rid of this one. Yes. 
Um, and now if I just go, I can use my up and down arrows and move my face around. And this way I can add things to my scenes. So I'm going to add a window to a YouTube window so that I can show you a YouTube video. So here in Sources, press plus and Window Capture. Uh, YouTube in Browser. Okay, and now I'm going to change the window to my Chrome window. There we go. And now this has the showing what's in the browser window, which is actually on another monitor. Click OK. And if I go over to the other monitor and I adjust the size of, the, of what's in the window, OBS, I move that there so I can look up at it. And I click on play. And there we go. So right now we're hearing the volume of the video through my microphone here. In order to hear it directly from the player, we need to add another source, this time an audio output capture. So we're going to capture the signal from that's being brought in from the browser and being sent out to the speakers. So that's the output capture. All right. We'll leave it as uh, default. And now we see it here. And it's way too loud, so we're going to turn it down. We know how loud it is by these green line and yellow lines. And we like to come up just to the top of the green, tipping into the yellow ever so slightly. But we don't want to go into the red at all. So now we have that adjusted. So I can talk over it. I can lower the volume if I want to just talk over the video. I can lower myself or mute myself in order just to listen to the video and so on. So that's a way of sharing a video from YouTube um, and to have your face next to it. As you can see, I'm over here uh, and I can look at the video. There we go. I can point. And I'm going to go into the other scene and get rid of that. See how we can switch between the two really easily? Now let's say we want to do a PowerPoint show. Let's add another scene. Go back to the first one. I'll duplicate this one. So I have the camera and the background already there. Scene 3, I'm going to rename it. Right click it and rename it. PowerPoint. Uh, if you're using Google Classroom and you're using uh, Google Slides, you can just grab the browser and play the browser. Now to, dis to capture the display over on the other uh, screen, I need to add uh, I'm going to add display capture, which is going to capture the entire screen. And I'm going to label it PowerPoint uh, screen. And I'm going to change the capture to the other screen that I have over there. Now you'll see that it's uh, much bigger because I have a display that's taller. So in the window, that's the screen I want, which is fine. In this window, I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key. I'm going to bring that down like that. Then I can move this up. And I'm going to make sure that's wide. Move this up a little bit more. Hold my Alt key down. So that is my PowerPoint slide. My students are seeing this screen here. And I can see everything that you're seeing on my screen now. So here's my slideshow. And if I go to my first slide, there it is, it changes to that. So as I'm going through my presentation, I can see my speaker notes. I can see what the next animation slide is going to be. I can be talking about it and look at my notes as I'm going. Let's change that size a little bit. Um, and it allows me to present to my students at the same time as being able to see my presentation slides. Um, now, I need to, for this to work, I need two screens. So I have a second screen attached to my computer. Uh, it, this, this technique doesn't work with only one screen. Um, and it really is so much easier having two screens. So I can switch between that. So here I have uh, the YouTube video. Here I have just me talking. 
and I can make this one larger if I want to, if I'm talking straight to my students and I'm having an engaged conversation with them. Um, and then I can switch between that one. I can go to my PowerPoint, uh, sorry, to my YouTube video, and I can go to PowerPoint. So this is how I'm able to engage with my students and talk directly to them while sharing my screen without having to fiddle with all those other bits and pieces in Zoom and click on the different screens. Uh, and I can switch between them very quickly using the scenes over here. In my next video, I'm going to show you how I use a couple of old video cameras and I convert them into document cameras so that I can show them how to do certain problems by hand and show them my hands working at the same time as I can show them my screen and switch between different things. So click the like button, uh, click subscribe, click the little bell so you find out when my next videos come out and um, throw me a comment. What else would you like to learn? It's very helpful. goes a long way with YouTube rankings. Have a great day.